Surgery is a big event in a patient's life as it puts a big strain on the body. We are now helping our patients to prepare for this surgery in a way similar to that that an athlete prepares for an event. Before surgery, we are encouraging patients with the support of their families and friends to do a few things to help prepare for their surgery and reduce their risk of having complications. In the four to six weeks before surgery, we will be encouraging patients to build up their strength and stamina by increasing the amount of exercise they do, eating a healthy diet, not smoking, having good oral health, so brushing your teeth and using mouthwash twice a day, and learning about ICOF. It is very important for you to attend surgery school before your surgery as you'll be given important information on how to best prepare yourself for surgery and what to expect afterwards. This will also be an opportunity for you to ask any questions you may have. ICOF UK is a collection of steps to reduce the risk of you having lung complications after surgery. ICOF UK steps are incentive spirometer exercises, coughing and deep breathing exercises, oral care, so brushing your teeth and using mouthwash twice a day, understanding ICOF, getting out of bed and mobilising at the earliest opportunity and having the head of your bed elevated. The steps of ICOF UK are supported by internet-based resources and the surgery school for patients. ICOF UK is a collaboration between Central Manchester University Hospitals and the Boston Medical Centre in the USA where the introduction of ICOF has been shown to reduce the risk of having lung complications after surgery. In the first few days after your operation, we'll be using the ICOF steps to reduce the risk of you having lung problems. You may also be directed towards some other exercises to optimise your recovery. I am now going to talk to you about how to use the incentive spirometer, which is one of the ICOF steps. I am now going to teach you how to use the incentive spirometer. This device is designed to help improve your breathing and reduce the risk of you having a chest infection after your operation. Ideally, we'd like you to use it before weeks before your operation. Here is the incentive spirometer. To use it, take it out of its bag. You'll see there is a chamber and a mouthpiece. To put it together, you attach the blue tubing to the socket. The chamber contains three balls. The aim of the exercise is to take a slow, steady, deep breath in, lifting the balls as you go. Initially, you may find you're only able to lift the first two balls, however, don't worry about it. To use the device, hold it in one hand, hold the mouthpiece with the other, sit up in the chair as you don't want to slump as you can't take a deep breath. Form a tight seal with the mouthpiece and your lips and take a slow, steady, deep breath in. Relax, take the mouthpiece out of your mouth, slowly breathe out and return to your normal breathing. Repeat this for about eight to 10 breaths, four times a day. Ideally, you could do it before breakfast, before lunch, in the afternoon and at bedtime. When you're done, to clean it, take off the mouthpiece and wash it in warm soapy water and leave it to air dry. It is normal to experience some dizziness when doing deep breathing exercises. If you do feel that you're getting dizzy, relax, stop the exercise and carry on when you're able to. If the dizziness continues, then stop the exercise and discuss it with someone at your next clinic appointment. After your operation, it is essential that you're able to do deep breathing exercises that I've just explained. You will also be given a new incentive spirometer in the hospital. It's essential for you to be able to deep breathe, cough and get out of bed at the earliest opportunity. Ideally, we like you to get out of bed on the first day after your operation. It won't cause you any harm to get out of bed, although you might experience some discomfort and be tired. It's essential that you're able to do these things to reduce the risk of you having a chest infection, reduce the risk of you getting blood clots 
and to improve your healing. If you find that you're in too much pain to do any of these things, you must let us know so we can manage your pain better. Any additional active exercise you can do in the four weeks before your operation will be of great benefit to you. It will reduce the risk of you getting a chest infection and improve your strength and stamina. You may find simple things like going for a paper, pottering around the house, socialising with friends and family or going to the supermarket may help. To summarise what I've explained, use the incentive spirometer for four weeks before your operation. We'd like you to take about eight to ten breaths four times a day. Do it in a good position, so sitting up either in a chair or bed and taking a slow, steady, deep breath in. Try to remember why it's so important to help you reduce the risk of having a lung complication after your surgery. Thank you for listening.